Good afternoon. We're so glad to hear we daily vlogs. If you enjoy this video, make sure you come back every day. Do it. Happy Monday afternoon. Thank you. It feels Monday-ish. Feels like a really good Monday though. Yeah, and just like, I don't know, like it blinked and it's 2.30. We're staying home today. We have a, a big weekend ahead yes, of us. huge. And so um, it's my birthday Thursday, Teddy's birthday a week from today. We have a handful of people coming into town. So this will be what we need to like set ourselves up for the exciting weekend. I want to like hang more stuff. There's a hook that we need to find to go here. We have Sarah's uh, flowers on point. She's Thank finishing George. the vlog. I'm like in between meetings right now. We've had a very productive day. I want to show you how wonderful our home looks. That both boys are napping right now, and it's because we had to do a little cleaning session this morning um, because James had therapy this morning. Like our our at home therapists moved from Thursday to Monday this week because they're taking the later part of the week off. Look, all this natural light that we didn't have before in Chicago. Sarah's closing that, so the lighting is a little bit better. But I want to show you, like, so new rug this is our living area and our chairs our chairs don't mind duck and goose hanging out <laughs> um, with our couch from lauren chairs we bought online rug online got that found that on like a reseller in chicago i think it's got a cozy like, vibe yeah it's like cozy but what's really nice with like the kids is like toys are in here but they're easy to put away these are like light and like move around for like mm -hmm. playing and stuff like we wanted, we were so like torn at first about like how to lay out yeah. this like strange like open concept townhouse that like we weren't sure like having the TV like by the kitchen was going to work. Yeah. But we knew we wanted that for like just how we flow as a family. Mm -hmm. And like now this like feels complete. I'll say we're like 80% over 85. Yeah. Um, little minor things we're going to do. So like we're going to take that chandelier down. Oh yeah. And we're gonna add some can lights or like other lights to these different um, like pre-fabricated slots that ha could have lights. We're gonna take that down because it doesn't vibe. We are gonna hang the TV still on the wall. I just need to get the, the cement anchors because that, that's a cement wall right behind it. Sorry about that. The windows open was messing with the light on like crazy in the focus. But we're gonna get a giant floating shelf for here. Um, I'm gonna hope we might make it ourselves. And if we, the reason why like I want to do it that way is one, because it's fun, and two, because then we got this for free in Chicago, like on a free box, but it all needed to get to the top refinished. And so my thought is if we make this giant floating shelf for all of our Sugar Boo flatware right above our dining room, then we could get the same kind of wood and remove this top and put the new top on. And then when this goes on the wall, we want to do like a little four inch floating shelf above it. Almost like a mantle. Yes, almost like a mantle, so we can put seasonal decorations up there. But that brings the living space into the dining space with the transitional coffee tea cart that we have. Still got to deck it out with some plants and some other decoratives down there. But here's our oval carpet. All of it's still got to get flat, and we got to we got to work the, the the folds out. But this is lunch time, dinner time, snack time, coloring time, all the times into our play slash homeschool area here. So we've got like art supplies and stuff in that hope chest. Sarah's dad actually got that for Sarah's mom in high school, right? Or college? Yeah, it's like their hope chest before they got married. Hope chest before they got married, how sweet. Toy section, but a boom, boom, boom. Into our little entry foyer area where we've got our shoes, plants. There's like dog stuff, shoe stuff in there. And like that's how we have like divided up this. Um, long open concept and then once we get some stuff on this wall like the shelf I feel like that'll make it uh really come together and then our our, our garage is right over here and i showed you guys that a little bit the other day so as i said in the vlog the other day like all the, like all the, like the nostalgia stuff and loving stuff about this um it's so nice i was able to sit here and take a meeting which is very very cool and also we did a little bit more tidying up here so um that's kind of all the same from the other day. I kind of organized all of this into what we need to do. And then, boom, we did some more hanging here. So we've got our steam mop hung, 
charging uh, dock for our power tool, um, hanging vacuum right next to the outlet so it can charge, and then some, br some brooms as well. This is so nice, so nice. Sarah and I are the kind of people that like, we like these regiments, we like to do these little touch-ups, these little cleanups, but like we need to have things to have their place. And I think like I've already like come in here, grabbed the vacuum really quick, done it, put it back. Like for things to have a place to live, I feel like it makes it better and easier. Bring them into like a cohesive flow of your life. So like we'll be able to sweep more, vacuum more, steam a lot more. We we vacuumed and steam out the whole first floor this morning before uh, therapy and before work. So just really nice to be getting into a groove of actually being able to use all of this wonderful space we're now renting to its like fullest, fullest, fullest capacity. Um, we just need to get we just need to get all of this figured out, and then I want to get uh, the metals hung. Um, so, like I said, like we are very close to being fully functional in a lot of our space. We're like 80% almost everywhere, with little like focused like little plussing points that we have to do in almost all the spaces. I already know the answer, but should Sarah and I deck this bathroom out to be an obnoxiously obnoxious Christmas bathroom all year round? Like, I'm talking like Christmas lights up there, garland, like, ugh, should we do that? The answer, of course, is yes, but should we? You're telling our secret. I am telling our secret. I'm leaving it to the people to say yes or no. Just kidding, we're doing it regardless, <laughs> but it's gonna be great. <laughs> <laughs> He's got himself some dinosaurs. Ooh, what was that? Trinidad. <gasps> oh, that was my Trinidad. The rest is for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was my Trinidad, but for like two weeks now I'm in tongue surgery just to eat it because I don't want it. I have been, I was literally going to say close your eyes and open your mouth to you and then I was nervous that you were going to get mad because he's been trying to pawn this Trinidad off on me. So I pawned it off on Teddy. Teddy. He's going to be one in a week. Ugh. Can you do the puzzle now? What you got? You got ice cream? Got it. Got it? Mmm. Okay, we got to get that kid ice cream. I'll make you premium bar for his birthday. First birthday. I am starting up some dinner. I got a little rice quinoa mix going in bone broth, which is a great way to get extra nutrients in. I also spice it up with some smoked paprika and cumin and garlic. Making this little shrimp fajita mix for dinner tonight, as well as some like other chicken that I'd cooked up. Cause this is just like a pretty small portion and our kids eat a lot. So this is gonna be the main bit and then some chicken as well. Alrighty, we're ready to start serving up. We got refried beans. That's gonna be the base on the tostada. Ooh, it's fogging up the camera. We have some shredded chicken. I added some like cumin, onion, onion powder, garlic, just typical taco mix um, spices. And then here is that little frozen shrimp concoction from Aldi. And then our toppings. I made a little coleslaw with the chilango sauce on it some guacamole, sliced jalapenos, salsa, and cheese. I mixed a can of drained and rinsed black beans in with the rice and quinoa, just to give a little bit more substance. And here's how they look all done up. Teddy has taken a few steps here and there. So we're gonna Teddy, see. Come get these carrots. A little bunny rabbit. Come get it. Oh. <laughs> come on. Nice and strong. Let's start strong. <laughs> These are so excited. Ready? Go get daddy. Come get the carrot. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Go get it. <laughs> you dance and dance and dance. Come here. Yes. Go. 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 Go.
go. Come on. There you go. Good job. One step. <laughs> Come on. Go. Go. Come here. <laughs> go. 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 Okay. 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 All right. Ready? Come on. <laughs> you see the camera? <laughs> cheers, 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 cheers. Nice and sturdy. <laughs> Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlogs for today's video. Make sure you come back every day. It's a Tuesday. And it's treating me more like a Monday, you know? And so I had a couple minutes before some meetings, and so I ran over, uh, I didn't run over, I drove over to Starbucks and getting Sarah, myself, and James a little treat. Um, to give ourselves a little morale booster before the day gets really going here um, for my work meetings. And then I think we're gonna try to hit up Disney World tonight. But yeah, sometimes you just gotta, sometimes you just gotta get that caffeine, right? Sometimes you just gotta be like, ooh. Today's a day, but we're gonna get ahead of it and try to turn it around to not make it a day. <laughs> Jamesy's current favorite toy, building this fort. <laughs> Teddy's favorite current toy, this Mickey premium bar. Nom, 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 Oh, it's so delicious. We should get you one for your birthday. <laughs> oh no. All right, we're continuing our ACS donation. We're painting. What is it? No. 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 Eyes. No. Eyes and nose. No. Yes. So for the past like five hours, me and the boys have been out and about. And I wish I would have remembered to bring the camera, but I had to reserve my phone battery. One, it always dies, but to Teddy, he needs Miss Rachel for company in the car. So I needed to make sure I had enough juice in that. So I wasn't able to vlog, but we went thank to you. the mall at Millennia. You tell me thank you for, what did I do? Oh my goodness. Please be nice to your tree. Um, anywho, I had an order at Gap. There's a huge sale going on right now. I got them jammies because we are staying at Disney this weekend as like, like we're gonna spend the night and wake up at Disney on Teddy's first birthday. And so I got them matching jammies for the night. And then while I was there, I got them some shirts and James is actually like ready to go up to 3T. And so I got him some 3T stuff and Teddy an outfit for his birthday. And I'm not gonna show it now because I want it to be like a fun little reveal during like our birthday weekend fun. Um, but it was fun. The mall, I think because like recently I've really only gone to the mall at like Christmas time, it like almost, just like fills me with Christmas cheer. And so I put on the Grinch when we got home. Um, but the mall just like feels nostalgic and like, I don't know, Mall at Millennia is very nice. Um, my only qualm, I really wanted a pretzel and I didn't have one. Um, but anyways, me and the boys had a good time, did a little shopping, sat in a lot of traffic on the way home. Um, but everyone's in good spirits now and we're just waiting for Peter to be done with work. Just walking down Sunset Boulevard, gonna go get some dinner. And then, I don't know, maybe a little bit of Lightning McQueen, maybe a little bit of movies, maybe a little bit of Fantasma. Who knows what the night holds? Why should we feel tight? Woo! All we know is we got happy babies. Gonna get some full bellies. Maybe some bottles of water. And I'll be ready to go. I don't know if I've ever had two pending mobile orders at the same time. How cool is that? Now here's the food. We got some kids' chicken nuggets, plant-based soba bowl in an edible bowl. And then the all-American Rosie salad? Rosie all-American salad? <laughs> and some accessories like french fries, waters, and oranges. My plant-based bowl from Fairfax Fair is quite mm -hmm. delicious. It's also the size for an eight-year-old. <laughs> it was $12? $12 for the one without the plant-based chicken. Running from record to record? 
Well, oh. on the other hand, my salad. It's really good. I mean, they were both really good. They're both really good, but my salad is a really large portion of pork. I swear, it's like a whole. It's not a pound, but it's like it's a whole. It's like pig. it's like a half a pound of pork. Also, a really good option if you are sharing with a baby who like doesn't need a full kids um, meal. But between that and fries and oranges, Teddy ate a ton. Good. Queens Racing Academy, Andrews. the souped up and tricked out training Hi. facility. Can I give her two hugs up? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, rookie beefies. Welcome to Lightning Queens Racing Academy. And here it is, singing style. Oh, <laughs> I gotta push the button. Shoot, I knew that. Well, rookies, that was not how I thought this lesson was going to go. So it's so fun with Jamesy like having opinions and us turning the corner and like he knows that Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is right here. We're in luck because it's a short wait because I feel like that might not always be easy, an easy thing for us to go on. But he's jazzed. Should we go on? Look at those clouds. They look fake. Look at that exciting little skipping his step. So, taking an L. <laughs> taking an L on Runaway Railway. We waited like 10 minutes right before we were at the merging point, and it stalled for like another 10 minutes. And the kids just, they deserve to they, be happy. Yeah, so they got like 20, 25 minutes in them when it comes to wait times. And so, we didn't know how long the wait was going to be. So we decided to go have fun in the park instead of wait in the line of unknown. But we did just see the line moving. So that's a little bit of a bummer, but, but we're, ba we're back to being happy, so. Toy Story Land at sunset, man. Right, we're trying our luck. Yeah. Trying our luck for alien swirling saucers. It was five, and then when we got over here, it was 30, and as we walked up, it changed to 20. So who knows what it is? But we're going for it. Hey! I don't think this is 20 minutes. James, that was like a walk up. That wasn't 20 minutes. Woo! All right, climb on in, babe. No, it's on my god, it's in my, my fucking blast the blast off. I can't talk because I'm so excited. Um, I've only been on Falcon like twice. And we're walking past just like getting ready to go because the boys are very tired and it's getting later. And the parks are going for another hour and like 20 minutes, but we're going to get ready to go. We just thought we'd walk through Galaxy's Edge because it's dark and beautiful. And I was like, Falcon's 15 minutes. And Sarah's like, go. I was on it last time when we had people visiting. Like, go ahead. James could literally fall asleep in a second, and Teddy just got a bottle. I was like, oh, okay. I haven't been on Falcon since like the first summer it opened. I literally have only been on this ride twice. 
and we'll see if I can engineer because I've only gotten an engineer before because I'm usually like, oh, whatever, whoever's there can, can be whatever they want to be. It's so strange to just walk past the, one of the most beautiful queues in all the land. Wait, what did you because the I've never been in this room with this view. I, for, I honestly forgot that you can see outside at the Falcon at night. And I think I'm already going all the way to the merger point with lightning light. What? Today's flight takes you to the planet Corellia. Alright, I was Gunner, and I think I did alright. I got 14 TIE Fighters, I think? I don't know. I don't know. Blasted a bunch of stuff. It was a lot of fun. Met a family who was pilots for the first time. And uh, it was like 15 minutes from when I walked in until when I walked out, not even when I got out. It was basically a walk in. It was crazy. POV, Peter Burkhardt is your dad. Chaos always ensues. Okay. We're going for a redemption ride. Vicky and Manis, 15 minute wait. Should we go on the ride or not? And I was like, Sarah, we're gonna, never gonna regret going on the ride. Right. It was a 15 minute wait, it's a quick ride. It ended up being like a walk on, basically. Walked right on. And the boys were super cute and they loved it. Teddy was cackling during the Daisy Duck scene. Yeah. yeah. I'm just so, we just got to redeem ourselves. I just, it was, I hate a disappointment, yeah. you know? And it was like, everyone handled it well and like, we had to do what we had to do earlier, but. So nice to get that. We're gonna get one, one more blast at AC and a shot before we have the, the shot, car. The shot. You pick. Oh my gosh. Look at those crabs! Wow! Well, consider this last night's sign off and today's intro because we didn't sign off last night. It's good to be home. We daily vlog every day. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back every day. Um, we've had a good morning. Sarah and I got up actually kind of when we were wanted to and supposed to. The, uh, I went on a run. Sarah was folding some laundry. The, the boys got up. We're all changed and bathed and ready for the day. What? What did you say to me? Wow. <gasps> wow. What a cool car you built. Breakfast this morning is gonna be toast with some peanut butter, honey, and this pumpkin pie spice on some healthy bread. Today we are working hard on our postcards that we're sending out to everyone who donated at least $15 to our last American Cancer Society fundraiser for the Chicago Marathon. That was like our little push. So here's some of Jamesy's artwork. If you get any of these, these are his face. It's his new favorite thing. 
to draw. Two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. Some got a little ripped from being like taped down and to like stay on the counter while James painted, but we'll make sure that what, what gets sent out is, you know, up to snuff. Wow, nice technique. Some postcards will have original drawings by James on top of the picture of the princess. I'm sorry if you planned on like frame one of these beautiful postcards. Some of them are just, you know, added to by James. Ooh, you see Marina? Okay. Go ahead. Eyes. One eye. Oh. That's fine too. Go for it, bro. Okay, so basically a lot of our weekend fun starts today. So Peter and I just talked, we're going to rearrange the upload schedule a little bit. This is gonna be a three-parter that goes live on Thursday, and that's the beginning of the week. Then Thursday, tomorrow is my birthday. Thursday and Friday's vlogs will go up on Saturday. Um, Saturday is gonna be its own vlog because we are doing a really something really fun for mine and Teddy's birthday and then Sunday and Monday is gonna be its own vlog that goes live on Tuesday and that is to celebrate Teddy's first birthday with a stay at Disney just for one night um, but it's gonna be extra fun because our friends Britt, Jared and their son Shepard they are arriving today and so we're meeting up with them tonight and that's the excitement I'm getting I'm doing a target pickup order that's why I'm here it's that time of the week to pick up nice snacks easy stuff to have grab and go while we're in the parks and very busy this weekend I am also getting a target pickup order for my sister Jenna and her husband Billy they arrive tomorrow for a little weekend stay as well so we have loved ones in town my birthday Teddy's birthday we have so much to do and so today is kind of like the calm before the storm um, getting these target orders for us and for Jenna and then tonight basically we're just doing whatever um, our friends want to do so there's that we'll do this naps and then we'll get home and get ready this is the faces of somebody who just woke up from a nap and somebody who just finished another marathon of have you noticed there the trend's been like my Wednesdays they've been full of meetings that was last Wednesday too it was like full today full she's chewing my mouth full <laughs> Um, Teddy snooze and James just woke up. It's like four o'clock. I have to hop on a call in four minutes Last meeting of the day and then we're gonna go see some friends who are in town on vacation Yes, so we're gonna crash your pool. I think is what I just learned. Mm-hmm. It might rain. Oh, yeah, I don't know. So what, what, what do they say? I'll star movies. Booyah. We got some rosemary potatoes over here we Got a delicious salad a buffalo hummus quesadilla chickpea so it's like buffalo chicken but i made it with chickpeas instead mm. yeah a little bit of cheese dip it in that delicious dip. wow we have not been here in a very long time we don't know if the boys ever have been here before oh no definitely not teddy a little bit of classic a little bit of new this gift shop is giving me Disney store vibes. Yeah. The carpet, the color scheme. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're with our friends. You can't even see them because we're out of focus. Wait a minute. <gasps> Who are you? He's like, what's that? <laughs> Big old thing on the top. We got Britt, Jared, and Shepard. Hi. Back together. We're going to go swimming. We're, we're so crashing. Happy. Yes. And we're finally reunited. So we'll after probably. Three years. I can't Cheers. It's been three years. Three years. Yeah, literally. Teeny tiny babies. They were they were about we all, five weeks like uh -huh. my hair belly. Yeah. Literally we all found out like within like a week of <laughs> all hanging out. They together. were six weeks apart, like do oh, six days that. apart. Yeah. <laughs> and then they were born like ten or eleven days apart. So this is the part where we're probably not gonna pick up the vlog again for like seventeen more hours because we're gonna be talking too much. <laughs> At least that's what the Brookhearts do. At least so. <laughs> <laughs> He wants him himself. Wow! <laughs> You're brave! Okay, it's hard to tell from this angle kind of, but that is a giant Mighty Ducks mask. That is the coolest thing I've ever seen. I've never seen it before and I absolutely adore it. Alright, so we're all changed and dry. Britt and Jared, are we going? Yeah, we're going this way. 
Britt and Jared and Shepard are going back to their room to get ready. Mm -hmm. um, they're going to meet us in the main lobby to get a little sweet treat. Yes, to end the night. Yes, and we also have to pick up Sarah's birthday yeah. cake so we can mm -hmm. have it for breakfast tomorrow. Leave a comment down below if you expected or knew that that is our family tradition of having mm -hmm. birthday cake for breakfast. Yeah, my like heart, like I just think of like, even like when our kids are like older and grown up, like we might have different schedules, but like everyone like, Hopefully at some point we'll be at home in the morning. Like I just like I'm thinking of like our 20 year old kids like having well maybe they won't live with us anymore. I don't know. It's just like my like way of being like this is a tradition. Yeah. You know, whether they have soccer practice or band or chess. Like anything might disrupt like an evening tradition, but like morning cozy at home. Like six thirty in the that's, morning. That's where cake. this idea came from yeah. is me <laughs> stressing about <laughs> our children. Schedule. And the schedules in the future. Oh. Oh. That's a big dog. We have a very little dog. <laughs> Especially compared to these. One. Two. So this is the kids' corner. It's the world premiere food court kids' corner. You got photos, you got crayons, and then you submit it to a cast member, and you might just become the featured artist. And there's this cool projector, which is also not projecting monsters, in, but super cool, right? I'm ending the night with some ice cream. Look at you in that sandwich. It's yummy, huh? Now are you officially home? <laughs> are you free to mark? Mmm. Teddy's never had a sandwich before. Is that cold? Oh. On, all, on all those teeth? <laughs> all right, so here at Rialto, you can order like the actual ice cream scoops and a giant Mickey cake. So I was tempted to get the director's cup because that looks awesome. So well, this is what we're getting. We're getting a happy birthday Mickey cake for Sarah. Let the birthday celebration weekend extravaganza express begin. We have it. Now we just have to get it home in one piece. Neither of the boys fell asleep on the way home. Maybe ice cream that late wasn't a good idea, but it was worth every minute of it. No regrets. No regrets. Good to be here. Thank you, Brent, Jared, and Shepard for having us. And it's, that's like living here, being here for everyone's trips. That's like a huge benefit. Mm hmm. It's priceless. It's good to be home. Good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>